Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am at Annie's house for those of you guys wondering. My kitchen is not this nice. You have a sick ass kitchen. Mood! I like how you're saying that I have a nice ass kitchen. You do. This is all like a grand palace. No, dude, mine's kitchen. like senora life. No, it's kitchen. nice. It's dark. Uh, whatever. We're here because <laughs> I like Annie's kitchen. And today we're gonna be filming a nacho mukbang. So we have our nachos ready. My favorite nacho cheese. Nacho essentials. This is my go-to nacho cheese. This is from Smart and Final. This is like the second time we've heated it up because we've been having like technical difficulties with the whole like camera situation. Um, but today I have on here because we're gonna be talking about that one time. <laughs> you wanna <laughs> tell one <them>? time? <laughs> Mode which one? The first one and second. The first one. We got chased by cows and like my chanclas got left. In the fucking, we were like in a ranch, bitch. This is full on rancho. Dude, it's straight up. It was actually a cow and a toro. It was both? It was a cow and a toro, dude. No way. Yes, it was two. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> I just remember the cow. I do remember there was a cow, but I don't know why in my head I was thinking a bull. Because they did have one. On yeah, the they side, did have and one. And it was fucking mean. And they always yeah, told it was us the to not. It, uh -huh. yeah, and that dude. cow was technically the nice cow. Yeah, so we got chased down by a cow. The nice cow, supposedly. Yeah, and then we just have a bunch of little <laughs> stories that we wanted to talk about. Yeah. We wanted to eat nachos and kind of like give you guys a little story time of all of our travesuras we used to do like as little girls. As children, yeah. In Mexico. I think we should prep these nachos because I'm hungry as hell. Damn. You're all infecting them? Dude, literally. I'm sad because I feel like the cheese is just so chunky now. I like how it's literally like not Smooth. chunky at all. It's because I'm like the nacho cheese queen, so I have to make sure that it's like perfectly perfect. Do you put a lot? Uh, kind of. A cheese? Mm, I like to smother it. I like when they get soggy with the cheese. Me too. So I mixed in a little bit of jalapeno juice. I would recommend to use milk. Do you want me to pour yours? Sure. Okay. Um, I like to. <laughs> I'm like, why are you laughing? Why? Because this is so like senora. Of me. Yes. <laughs> Do you like a lot of cheese? Yeah. Okay. Mm. We should like zoom in to this. Bitch, there's no zoom in. Sorry. Oh. We just get closer. Oh, you just get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You like just dropped it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Soggy, but right because of the juice. Yeah. Mm. Are the chips stale or is it just me? No, they're just really crunchy. Mm. You're new. I know. That's why I'm like, what? Yeah. So my parents are from Mexico, for those of you guys who don't know, they are from Michoacan. And they used to take us all the time for like vacations or holidays. We used to always go. Mm -hmm. And my mom was a type to like preparar hella. We would take our little tacones. We would take all of our clothes that she had bought us that week from Ross. Like uh -huh. going to Mexico was like the only fun thing we used to do. It was a shit, yeah. Like growing up Mexican, I feel like they just want to go to Mexico. Well, that's literally okay. the only place we have been to. Yeah, because they're not like, oh my God, we're going to plan a trip to Hawaii or something. You're like, almost in Mexico. Yeah. And I, damn, I hella remember that, like, prepping, getting new underwear. My new mom socks. would pack for, like, a month before the event. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yep. She would make us take big-ass fucking coats and shit. Because mm -hmm. it was so shit. cold. Mm -hmm. Mexico, we get so cold. Because we would go, like, during the winter for uh, Christmas. Because mm -hmm. we had a Christmas break. So we would be out there. I want to say this specific time, I think I was, like, 12 years old. Or you think I was younger? I was like, like 10, around 10, 11 years old and me and Ani are five years apart. Five to four years. Four to five. 
we're annoying with all this number numeral confusion. I know, right? You want more? Yeah. Okay. Mood. I feel like the guy from um, Scary Movie with his like little hand. He's like. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> okay, now. Dig in. These aren't hot, by the way. Mm, la costeña typically isn't it's really more taste. It's more taste, like the flavor. Oh, I kind of like a little kick. La morena is the one that's really spicy. spicy. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandparents owned a rancho, so they had farm animals. They had chickens, roosters, cows. dogs, cows. They had a toro. Horse. They had a horse. Oh my god, yes. They had like everything pretty much. And this specific cow was always just like left outside chilling. Like it was like their family dog, I guess you could say. Well, compared their to like, their, their pets over there, like their family cow. Mm -hmm. This specific day, it was like in the afternoon, like around six. Mm -hmm. And my grandma was out in the barn the doing bar. senora stuff. She was like picking leña or something. Mm -hmm. Remember? Or the, or the corn. Wherever I would go, you would always follow me. Of like, course. dude, you would always follow me <laughs> everywhere I go. Or every time my mom would send me to go do something, y te llevas a tu hermana. And dude, I would be like, dude, I would go on dates with her. Dude, even. literally. I used to go fuck around with guys and you would just wait outside. <laughs> dude, I would literally be waiting outside, bro. Yeah, well, I'd be sucking and fucking. And you're over here, like, in the cold. <laughs> dude, literally. And I'd be like, you better not say anything to my mom. And I would just, like, chill on my phone. And you would hate being there. And you'd be like, are you okay? And I'm like, well, yeah, I guess so, yeah. But anyway, we're all getting sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> so, here comes Ani. And we had these little Barbie <laughs> chanclitas that my mom had bought us from Kmart. I remember they were from Kmart or no Walmart. Way. They were like the little high heel ones. The ones that my dad has in the garage. No way. We were, we were wearing those. So my mom used to buy us matching shoes and they were the little like... Sandals, but they were wedge heels. They were like platforms. They were platform little sandals. And we were both they wearing diamonds. them. Yeah, they had the little diamonds at the mm -hmm. front. So then I go and I'm like, okay, looking for my grandma. And I go midway. Ani is waiting by the door. <laughs> I picture a barn door, okay? This is the barn door to the big ass backyard of the farm animal entrance. Mm -hmm. So then I see the cow is like all the way far in the back and I start walking towards my grandma because she couldn't hear me. Like I was yelling at her by the door and she didn't hear me. <laughs> so I started walking out towards my grandma and I go halfway through the field. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, Aulita, something. I don't know what my lala, my mom told me to fucking tell her. And then I see the cow is just like staring at me. And I turn around and look at him and keep in mind, Ani had already actually like halfway came up too. So halfway. I was halfway following me, of course. <laughs> I was <laughs> I was halfway in the field and then Ani was halfway, like halfway from the door. Do you guys like see that? So this is the door. This is Ani right here. And then this is me. My yeah. grandma's over here and the cow is over here. Mm -hmm. I literally make eye contact with the cow and I'm just like this. And the cow's literally looking and he starts kind of like preparing. Mm -hmm. He literally starts preparing like as if he's going to attack. And you just see him go like this. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just hear my grandma in the back saying, Correle! And I was literally like, <gasps> I turned, dude, and I fucking dipped because the cow started running after me like this. Oh, <laughs> he was running after me like <laughs> Dude, your cuernos were... <laughs> he was literally running like that. And I turn around and I see Ani with her short little bob. <laughs> with your short little bob and Dora. your fucking changlitas. Yeah. She literally looked like Dora at this time with oh her bangs. Oh my god. Dude, I turn around and I'm like, Ani, run! <laughs> and we're literally running, right? Okay, we're literally dipping like sprinting. Dude, Ani's chancla <laughs> falls off. Her midway platform dude. midway <laughs> me thinking i didn't just go like we're literally gonna get attacked right now she fucking goes back for her chakra it falls off and then she's like my chakra puts it back on and we fucking dipped and when we made it to the door i just slammed it shut and all you hear is boom because the cow literally I hit the door it actually hit, it it? Actually hit the door my grandma said that the whole time she was saying like Purisima. She was like praying and shit. Santos que no se que que, like praying, dude, because if we hadn't have gone that fast, the cow would have attacked us. We probably would have died. Dude, probably. it would have like, it would have like, attacked. Mm -hmm. 
like hit us against the wall. <gasps> like I feel like I'm literally reliving that moment because I remember how it was. I remember my chancla like getting left. And, and, like, and I'm just like, uh, why would Ani go back for her chunk? <laughs> like, my and my mom was like, what happened? Because she, she heard my grandma. Because mm -hmm. she heard my grandma yelling. And when we shut it, we were both like this, like. <laughs> <laughs> I still have my chunk out though. And I was just like, oh my god, dude. Yeah, that was honestly intense. Like that was intense. Mm -hmm. That was scary. Mm -hmm. I wonder what my what happened to my grandma. Did she just stay up there? She just stayed up there, but she was like so worried because she saw the cow running probably, to attack us. Probably it did that because it didn't know us. I don't know what the hell that cow's problem was. I have another little story to tell you guys when we were in Mexico. Was this the same trip? Low key. It was a was it the same I, one I, or was I it low key feel like I low key feel like it was the same trip. Dude, so much shit happened. So much shit would happen when we would go out to Mexico. Like Mexico's low-key scary, dude. Especially when you're little, you think of like La Llorona and stuff. Right. And you hear noises like in the dark. I feel like I heard her one time. Remember one time the lights went out? Were you there when yes. the lights went out? Dude, you know I was in the room by myself. It Did was you cry? pitch black. I wanted to, but I panicked. And like my panic mode was telling me don't panic or Were I'll cry. No, Ruben was in the oh, he room. was in the room with uh, like Brian or something, no? Mm-hmm. Damn, I remember I'll that. Open myself. So this story is not a long story, but I just thought it was funny because Annie has always been so dramatic mm -hmm. when it comes to like her little situation. So where my dad lives, he has this little section of the town called El Baño. The name? Like the bathroom. Mm hmm And it's a big pool. You could wash clothes there, like take yeah, baths. Yeah, like people go in there, I guess if you're homeless, like you go there to take a bath or take a shower if you don't have water at home. Because the pueblos out there are like really humildes. Like you have to warm up the water when you want to take a shower. And you only have like this much water. Like warm it up as in like burn your, your the wood. Heat <laughs> and like put in the fire. gas and the fire. Star fire. Literally. So yeah, it's called the baño and we decided to go like that was the only fun thing to do when you would go because if you look in the water, it's like a lagoon. Nobody ever cleans the like, water Like you can there. see tadpoles in there. Ew, dude, there's like bugs. Mm -hmm. There's like little snake There's worms, literally tadpoles. Maggots, dude. Anything you could think of, it's there. Ew, imagine swimming in that, dude. That shit will go in your cola. Yeah, no, literally it'll crawl up your ass. Dude. <laughs> I remember that day we were leaving. We were getting ready to leave back to, to the state. No, 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 to the states. Really? We, yeah, I'm pretty sure we were already heading back home, and we were um, like really dressed because we were gonna leave back home. I don't know. That's how I remember it. Well, I don't remember because it was like so long ago. But so since my mom would take like so many clothes, she wanted us to be like super arregladas, mm -hmm. you know. And my mom had just showered the both of us we had literally just taken a shower hair did you tried on your new little clothes like you had your new little outfit i think it was like sweats I think. it was a sweat two-piece yeah it was <laughs> it was of the monkey oh my god are you of, serious uh, something jack? jack what the fuck is his name monkey jack or something jack i think it is jack Flap no. Flap Jack. <laughs> Ew, he's big. Mood. I don't. Bob. Bobby Bob? Jack. Oh, Bobby Jack. Mood. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah, uh -huh, it is. Bobby Jack. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she had on her, her two little sweatsuit piece, whatever, and I think it was light pink. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. We go to the baño. And as we're leaving, about to go home, keep in mind my parents are so strict. Like the strictest Mexican parents that you will ever meet. Mm -hmm. We are not allowed to go here. Mm -hmm. We're not allowed to sleep over here. You're not allowed to talk to here. You're not allowed to talk to boys. You can't no go here. Yeah. Nothing. So going to the baño for us was like going to a fucking festival. Mm -hmm. Like it was a fiesta. Oh, and if you would get dirty, agarrate. Because Lorena69 would be pissed. Would be so pissed. We would be grounded. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Because I think that's why you reacted the way that you did. Yeah. Because we were walking, right? And we were walking and there, keep, keep in mind, there's like a lot of mud. It's literally like... It was like wet. It, it was probably like raining or something. Wet and know. also because of the water. Because people wash. Oh, yeah. They wash their clothes mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So like the water travels and there's mud and everything. Mm -hmm. It's like on a hill, kind of. Low key. Like mm -hmm. it's like a little hike. Walking yeah. up. Mm -hmm. So then tell me why Ani is walking and she falls. Like she falls and she eats it. And I'm we were, just like, we were, we were leaving though. We were leaving. We were, we're about leaving. to go back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She fell and then when she got up, you went like this, you looked and you were like, what? <laughs> Shit. 
and dude, I started fucking laughing. Well, dude, because I was like, fuck. My like, mom's gonna get pissed. She had literally just told us to <gasps> fucking be careful, dude. She had just told us that. She had just told us because she saw us walking out. And she was like, you guys better better not get dirty. Like, I don't, like, don't, just don't get dirty because I just got you guys ready. That's why I was like, fuck. Because she had literally just told us to not get dirty and then I fucking fell. But my mom was mainly worried. Yeah. I don't think she might go in trouble, especially because I told her that, like, you fell. Yeah. But I always, I've always been one to freak out ahead of time. Mexico trips are wild. Tell us your crazy Mexico stories in the comments down below. Because I know y'all be getting freaky out in Mexico. Y'all be having boyfriends in Mexico. That's scary. I had a few boyfriends in Mexico. She's always been the crazy one. <laughs> but I never actually hooked up like that. Like, what's considered hooking up? Mood! I mean, I, I think everybody has different definitions of hooking up. So what's your definition of hooking up? Fucking. Okay. I never fucked anybody out there. Okay. So, you just like made out with people. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm dead. All right, you guys, so that completes today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming and these nachos. Bitch. They're dang. I'm full. I'm so full. I had two plates. Ani even busted out her <laughs> bitch. I should <laughs> And James never got here. I know, dude. He's still far as fuck. <laughs> People are probably thinking we're talking about James, James Charles. Charles. <laughs> no, okay. bitch, our close mates. Yeah, we had ordered some drinks to have with our little nachos, but dude, 10 hours later, literally, Postmates needs to get it together because we need things right here, right now. Anyways, if you guys want to check out my sister's YouTube channel, I will go ahead and link it somewhere here in this video as well as down below and also her Instagram. You guys should check her out. Did you want to talk about your um, launch? My launch? Okay. <laughs> so you guys, I'm like, all right, so. <laughs> um, so I have my collaboration coming out. It is with Beauty Creations. It's coming very, very soon. I can't say exact dates yet, but. You did, she technically did announce today. Yeah. And she dropped her first campaign pick. So bitch, better watch out. I'm excited for the party. Yeah, no, it's gonna be Because I feel like I'm gonna get lit as fuck. It's gonna, everybody is, dude. Yes, oh everybody my god, is. everybody's gonna be so lit. Esme is fucking excited, dude. Oh my god, what are you gonna wear? Um, I, I can't say. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait and <laughs> see. Surprise. We're gonna have to wait and see because I have no idea what the fuck I'm gonna wear. <clears throat> Some of you guys might be able to come because we're doing a giveaway. Oh my god, no way. Mm -hmm. That's going to be so much fun. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to party with them. Yeah, so be sure to be on the lookout. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. And cock.